Yes, it's that kind of night, people. <laughs> the engineers are like, what happened? We thought we were going to Bible study. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> the drunker you get, the funnier all this shit will be. I'm from DC. Anybody here from the East Coast? A round of applause. All right, where you from? <laughs> DC, I got a ride home. Thank you, little one. <laughs> right in the front row. Should have bought a Honda. Right away with a Kia. What about you, sir? Where you from? Jersey. Jersey. I love Jersey. A lot of good people come out of Jersey. You got Chris Christie over there. You like Chris Christie? You don't like Chris Christie? Too much of a blowhard? <laughs> All right, ah, shit, who else is from the East Coast? Where you from, sir? Uh, New, York. New York, all right! I like New York. New York was a place where I went to. Every culture imaginable was in New York City. That's why I didn't understand the show Friends. <laughs> they ain't show nobody. You know, I'm like, everybody's in New York City. I was able to broaden my dating horizon. I dated one of everybody. I didn't even know Native Americans still existed until I got to New York City. <laughs> this Native American name was Flies Like a Hawk. I ended up leaving him for his best friend, Hung Like a Moose. <laughs> I dated everybody in New York City. I even dated a homeless guy. I didn't discriminate. <laughs> But we never saw eye to eye because I told him, yeah, they're better than me because everywhere he went, he was already hung. <laughs> I still had to take two trains and a cab. But I knew he was in love with me when he asked me to move out with him. <laughs> Tried to call me high maintenance because I needed things like shelter. <laughs> and water. I dated a 400 pound vegetarian. That was a whole lot of broccoli. <laughs> he had a nerve to ask if I was bisexual. He said, are you bisexual? Because I only date women who are bisexual. I said, hell yeah, if you bi, I'm sexual. <laughs> <laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> out of here. Y'all got two more great comments to see. But I have my shirts. They're good stocking stuffers for this time of the year. The first shirt says, love is a verb. Isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? The second one is even nicer in a v-neck. <laughs> it says, the whole outlast the pull. <laughs> for women and gay guys. <laughs> I love gay guys. Out of my eight uncles, I have three gay uncles. And they're the best family members. They cook, they clean, they'll help you out in a pinch. But one of my uncles thinks he can turn any man gay. They don't have to know if the man is gay. He fell in love with his doctor. I said, do you know if the doctor's gay, Hunk? He said, I don't know, I'm gonna make a doctor's appointment. The doctor put my uncle on the table. He shoved his hand up my uncle's ass. He said, I'm about to order x-rays. There's something hard and crunchy in here. <laughs> the doctor pulled his arm back to reveal a Rolex watch. <laughs> my uncle goes, happy birthday <laughs> to you. They're engaged. <laughs> like some of y'all look mortified. <laughs> Are you okay, man? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm watching the ass. How can I compete with that as a woman? <laughs> Get creative, ladies. It's 2016. I'm gonna get out of here. Y'all made my night. I just had a falling out with a good friend. She's a comic, and she booked me to do a show. When it came time to pay me, she's gonna look at me and go, did the people pay you? Did the people, did the people pay you? I'm looking around like, who the hell are these people? 
people. I haven't seen any people. You booked me, you the damn people. She gonna tell me to call her the next day. So I called her, she gonna tell me she doesn't have my money. I was like, I figured that much. So she found out NBC was bringing Last Common Standing back and she knew that I knew one of the producers. So she asked if I help her get on the show. I said, yeah, girl, I'll help you. I had no intentions on helping her. She still owed me money. I called her the next day. I said, did the people call you? <laughs> My name's Alicia Cooper, you've been great. <laughs>